Now with summer on the way, we need to be wearing sunscreen on our face. And trust me, I forget about it all the time. This is Avatara's Simple Shield Balancing Oil-Free Moisturizer plus SPF 30. And I love this because it has moisturizer and SPF in it. I feel like one reason why I always forget to wear sunscreen on my face is because when I wear sunscreen, it's just sunscreen and it doesn't have a moisturizer in it. But now that I can make this into like a part of my everyday routine, it's just like muscle memory. We need to wear sunscreen every single day on our face so we don't get sunspots or possibly skin cancer. Skin cancer does run in my family so I have to be very cautious and wear my sunscreen. This also is Avatara Kombucha and Kombucha has so many benefits to your skin and it is so good for you. You can buy this at Target, Amazon, and TikTok shop. It's also super lightweight to the face and you can't even feel that it's on. But I will be wearing this all summer long and I definitely recommend that you should be too. So definitely go check this out. Bye guys. I love, guys, I love you. Get ready with me for my birthday with my sister. Except I'm already ready. We're in Hawaii because my sister brought me here for my birthday as a gift and I'm really grateful even though I hate her. Also, does anyone have a fear of holes? Because since we've been here, I've been getting like shivers down my spine every day thinking about these holes and I'm still thinking about it. I'm using the phone case my sister has right now and it has holes in the back and it's, leaving, and it's leaving hole marks on the mirror and I <laughs> freaking hate it. This trip has been really fun. The only thing that sucks is one, my sister and my mom are both vegetarians, so no one really eats meat with us. Not really, I eat like chicken nuggets, so. Okay, that doesn't count. Um, second, she's underage and like she can't drink with me, so it really sucks. Cause so obviously I did dye my hair. Um, I haven't really told a lot of people. It was a really impulsive decision, but I've been wanting to go full blonde for a really long time. I think I was just going through honestly like an existential crisis and I feel like I wanted to change my identity. I'm trying her blush here. Today's a special day because usually when I use my sister's stuff, she gets really protective and angry. But I guess it's my birthday, so. So yeah, um, I'm trying to make this my full-time job because I'm really overworking my nine to five. Um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't wake up every day and cry. I'm like the opposite of Katie. Using my, this is my first time using a concealer brush. I really like using it. I feel like it's better because when I have a beauty blender, I dab really hard. Hashtag rare beauty. Who says? Who says? I really want to meet Selena. And I met my sister. Love to meet you too. I know. I feel like I'm funnier than Katie, so bitch. She'd probably like me a bit more. One question though is, should I dye my eyebrows blonde? I think you should leave them dark. I think it looks really cool. Cause especially when your hair, your roots start growing out. That's true. That's also really, really odd if I have blonde eyebrows. But I feel like it'd be a really cool move, and I might do it. Woo wee! We're using this blush. I'm really not ready to go home and face reality. This has been really nice, and I almost wasn't able to come on this trip, which would have sucked. But the shopping has been insane here too. Like. They've given out Hawaii special prices, but either way, I'm still broke, so. The last part, I just do a bit of highlighter. Um, Fenty Beauty. Shout out to Peyton. <laughs> and now we spray with this thing. I like feeling wet and moisturized at all times. So yeah, this was my get ready with me. Bye. Get ready with me for the 141st day of school. So the last get ready with me that I filmed was actually the morning before I got robbed. So what a great start to the month of May. That's on me though, I should've used that damn first of the month sound. Another Glow Recipe blur drop running out. This is now day two of asking Glow Recipe to make a bigger size of the blur drops. Please bruh, look at this. Yeah, basically we never got locks for the locker room. All of our stuff has just kind of been out there. This person decided to snoop around numerous people's bags, find numerous people's wallets, and just take all the cash inside of it. Check my wallet and all the cash that was in it is missing. Which, it wasn't a crazy amount, but still. I mean, they left the coins in there, so that was generous, thanks. It's the evil world we live in. Anyway, then my fave got obliterated over the weekend. Kendrick clocked him, and I'd like to move on.
I'm just talking and talking and talking and missing the main thing that I should be saying. Thank you so, so very much for 500k. I don't even know what to say. Like, this is so unreal for me. I appreciate it so much. That is such an exciting milestone. We are finished. Deuces, deuces, and deuces. I love y'all. Um, get ready for me. I just literally filmed a whole get ready with me. And I have a nail appointment at 1. It's 12 12. And I just cried off on my makeup. I'm so bad right now. <sighs> this freaking tissue is so good. I literally said to myself, I'm not gonna cry it off. And I end up crying it off. I really don't even want to go to my nail appointment. But I have to get them. <sighs> because they're so, like, grown out right now. I'm not even sure. Like, I look disgusting right now. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna redo this. And I have to go somewhere after my nails, too. So that's just, um, great. But I honestly hate him so much. If you think about getting a dog, don't. Do not get a Rottweiler. The biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Like, I, I'm never defending his stupid ass name again. I literally do so much for him. I take him on walks, take him out, give him treats. Like, he's just such an asshole. Like, he needs to go to, like, do they have therapy for dogs? Makeup, I'm literally gonna have to... I'm taking it off. I can't. I'm... I'm ugh. Like, I don't even, I'm about to cancel this nail appointment and just sit in bed and raw all day is what I'm about to do. Obviously, not every dog is like that. My sister has a raw while I do, and he's literally the sweetest thing ever. But, like, of course, I'm the unlucky one when I'm the one who needs a sweet dog. And I, okay, take two because my eyes are gonna get puffy now, and I look literally dead right now. They wanted a Bernice Mountain Dog for the longest time, and I think they're so cute, and I still want one. So, that's probably like my dream dog, a Bernice Mountain Dog. But yeah, that's, ugh, my god, you know, I'd evaluate him, but like, and I honestly was going to do a more natural look, and I wasn't going to do too much mascara, but what I look like right now, is not going to cut it, so, um, uh, it's now 12 20, so I need to leave in like 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. He's literally in training, and I think even the trainer is a little concerned about him. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore, because it's just going to put me in a, a bad mood. And I'm trying to be positive right now. But it's obviously hard. He acts as if he doesn't live the most spoiled life. Like, he gets cooked for every night. He gets taken on walks. Like, he doesn't have to do anything. Like, he has a good life. And he, like, I don't even know why he feels the need to even act like that. It's just so annoying. Like, he's so ungrateful. And he's entitled as fuck. Because some people, I'm not going to name names, like, to enable him. And just, like, this is why you don't spoil your kids or your animals. Because they take it for granted and they're ungrateful as shit. Okay, that's it for my makeup. I'm surprised it honestly looks good right now. Which kind of makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, that's it. I love you guys all so much. I'm officially moving out. <laughs> I'm going to Miami. <laughs> no, I'm kind of really freaking out. Like, you could take the girl out of Jersey, but you cannot take the Jersey out of the girl. Remember when I said I wanted to move, like, end of summer or fall because Miami is absolutely in the summer? Well, 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 well. When is the unit available? The heart of June. Imagine me now having to move the hottest month of the year. Sweating, raining. I don't know what it was, but this building has like 8,000 layers of approval. Imagine me already paying my security deposit. Wire transfer, by the way. And they're like, oh, but we're still waiting on the actual building association to approve you. What do you just mean by that? Because I just paid a security deposit. Sign the lease. What are we doing here? They're like, oh, the board of directors needs all your information so they can make the final decision. I'm like, who, what board of directors? Long story short, obviously the apartment is mine, like freaking out. I did it all on my own, 100% by myself. The largest issue at hand is that the apartment is completely unfurnished and I do not have one piece of furniture. I move in one month. One month. I do not even have a bed or a couch except my being and my clothes. Not even a freaking box of tissues. Nothing. When you move, you have to reserve an elevator, book an appointment to move into the building. Elevator deposit. Of course, a Jersey girl at heart. I love it here. This will always be like my home. But have you ever experienced winter depression? Have you ever experienced slipping on ice 
and slicing your hand open because I have and going to Finland just locked it in for me that I absolutely hate the cold literally I would rather walk into a fireplace Miami is the closest thing I'm gonna get to like a city that's in the warm weather sunshine happiness I've been loving makeup with no mascara wait the makeup is so glowy today my mom and I are going furniture shopping today she literally took off of work to help me so that's the definition of a real one I will let you guys know if I find anything all the good furniture stores are so far away Okay, so catch us driving all around New Jersey. Stay tuned. I am so excited. I can't even believe like it's real. Okay, love you guys. Bye. My gala is today and I'm so excited to judge everyone's outfits. It's going to be so good. You know, it's sad when your grocery do drops don't pump anymore because they're running out. This year's Met Gala theme is about, like, garden something. I don't know. It's, like, Enchanted Garden, something like that. And I've already seen Hailey Bailey's outfit. Go search her up because her outfit is literally stunning. I'm going to be making a video rating everyone's outfits because I missed out last year. And I saw everyone's videos on rating their outfits. So I really want to do it this year. But anyways, enough about the Met Gala. I've already been through one week of school for the new term and let's just say i'm already done i'm just so done with it i just want it to be the holidays again and the fact that i'm getting homework outrageous also i have my school photos next week and normally i like school photos because every year it gets better this year is gonna be the worst year because the photo session for my grade is the last period in the day which is period five for us and that's from like two to three o'clock which is so bad because I start school at 8.45 and like my makeup will look horrible. My makeup won't look good. My hair won't look good. Like everything just will be bad. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Aside from that, I've actually been realizing lately that in two years I buy a car. Um, tell me how that's possible. I thought I was 12 like two days ago. I remember when I was 10 wanting to be 16. And I'm 16 next year in October. Um, stop the clock. Because that's just way too fast. The makeup is looking good today. And also my skin is clearing up so good. And you know why? It's literally just because of this serum. It's the Anua or the Anua Niacinamide 10% plus TXA 4%. Trust me, if you have any sort of acne, dark spots, pimples, anything, this will clear it up in like a few weeks. I've actually got quite a busy schedule coming up. I've got a few little things, which I will let you guys know about soon. But that is all for my get ready with me. Thank you guys for listening to my little rant. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I've just decided to do a get ready with me. Halfway through putting the Charlotte Tilbury before this villa on. Uh, so yeah, get ready with me to go see Buggy with the hoodie. Part two. Part two. Guys, let's see if this one works this time because we went on Wednesday and we got there and it was cancelled. So it's been rescheduled to today and luckily we can actually go and we haven't got plans today. Get some of this out. Um, but yeah, so it's at the AO Arena tonight. So see you all there if you're going. So guys, Grace is getting ready in the background. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get ready and we're going to set off at about half four to the train station. Get the train to Manchester. And yeah, I think it's meant to come on at about eight-ish, yeah. Um, and there's going to be a DJ before, so we're going to be DJing it before we go. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. <laughs> Bitch, I'm drowning. So guys, last time I made the mistake of wearing fake eyelashes because they just do not suit me anymore. I look like my eyes just look too dark with them on. So I'm going to put mascara on because I've been using the UK lash serum. So hopefully they've grown. I just used the HMB concealer under my eyes and the Fit Me concealer on my spots. Now I'm using the pink honey BFF bronzer um, and I'm just going to contour my face and then bronze it because we want our makeup to stay on long tonight. Guys I've done my cream base stuff and now I'm going to set my face and then I'm going to use the powder stuff because I've seen a girl do this and it actually like worked when I lasted it 
So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this HMB bronzer. Honestly, could not go anywhere without this bronzer. One time I made Gracie drive all the way back to my house to give me this bronzer because I cannot live without it. Like literally, if I do not have this to do my makeup with, I will not do my makeup because this, this is just my life. Gonna use these two P. Louise blushes. Honestly, ever since I bought them, I've been obsessed with them. They're so pigmented. I literally love them. This is in shade soft, softy sorbet, and this is in say, shade apricot smoothie. I think I need to push a little bit more out because, like, not a lot is coming out anymore. Well, there we go. Gonna use my blush from Primark, which by the way is actually really pigmented. This is my favourite one. Yeah, this is my favourite one. <laughs> Trippy. Gonna use my Revolution highlighter. I have not worn highlighter in years. Like, I literally do not wear highlighter. Just like I don't do my eyebrows because they're too dark and disgusting anyway, so they actually need doing. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to put my mascara on because I feel really bold and I feel like I look really weird right now, but yeah. Using my Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder, and this is what I use. I don't use like loose powder because I just don't feel like it does anything for me. So I just use this one, which is actually the best anyway. So it's so matte, it actually is. I'm gonna use my freckly pen by Pink Honey, which I actually need a little mirror for this. But these are just my fake freckles. I'm just a girl. Gonna use these two mascaras. And I'll come back to you once I've done my eyelashes because it does take a long time. So guys, I am ready. I've just done my mascara and my lips. And my eyelashes have actually grown so much. I literally recommend the UK Lash Room. So good. But anyway, whoever's going, I hope you all have a good time. And I'll see you there.